happy vlogtober day 12 also columbus day you guys <sighs> i can't believe all this food i'm grateful though but i can't believe all this food <laughs> nonetheless wait till i show you i'm gonna wait till some people get on <sighs> rj Hey, Mo. Hi. So, you guys, the food bank was giving away food today um, at my dad's job. Oh, thank you. At my dad's job, he called me. He told me to come get some food. I thought I was just getting, like, a bag, and they gave me two boxes of food. And I'm just like... Whew, I'm a little overwhelmed to say the least um, because it is a lot. I'm definitely going to share this with my neighbors if they want it. If not, uh, let's just say I will be eating a lot of good stuff though. Wait till I show you what I got. So the first thing is some jumbo hoagie rolls these things are massive and they are super soft like super soft oh and it's like two four six big hoagie rolls Hey, Shanji, I emailed you back, girl. I don't know who I left a voicemail to because, sis, I was talking up a storm, too. Um, so, yeah, I got those rolls. I got a bag of oranges. I got three bags of Gala apples. One, four, wait, two, three, four. These are fully cooked pork patties with soy protein. Probably won't eat these, to be honest. They don't look appetizing. There are two of these. Uh, wow, guys. This is massive. Is this a yam or is this a sweet potato? I'm thinking it's what? Sweet potato? Hey, Dandria! Is this a yam or a sweet potato? I have like one, two, three, four of these bad boys. Wow. Um, I also got, one moment, I have to stand up. Three bunches of bananas. Mind you, this is just one box, guys. One box. That's it. I got two whole chickens. Uh, that is it for one box. On to the next box. Another bunch of bananas. Chiquita. <laughs> Another bunch of bananas. Another bunch of bananas. Oh, it is sweet potatoes. Good Lord. 
another bag of Gala apples. Another bag of Gala apples, you guys. If I was a baker, I would be in. Uh, these are some croissants. 20 croissants. Another bag of sweet potatoes. <sighs> yeah, I like Gala too. Uh, what are these? Another bag of sweet potatoes. Definitely need to be washed and cleaned for sure. Wow. Two more chickens. Another bag of oranges. You guys. Sheesh. Also, they gave me this bag with stuff in it, so I'm about to see what it is. It says, Rock the Block. Let's see. Dial soap. Bars of soap. Why this is out of the plastic, I have no clue, but this soap smells amazing. So, one, two, three, five bars of soap. Oh. This is, come on, done. One moment, y'all. Napkins or paper towels. Uh, what is this? These look like masks. Okay. Uh, some of this look like it spilled, but this is water and bleach solution so this is like a clean-in product dogfish head scratch made hand sanitizer another hand sanitizer these look like liquor <laughs> another hand sanitizer Okay, so it's like five bottles of hand sanitizer, and yeah, let me see, six, one, two, three, four, six glass bottles of hand sanitizer. RJ, get away from that. And that is, yeah, these are masks and paper towels. And they put it in this black tote bag that I'm going to put back and that is everything I am truly going to give away um, the whole I'm going to keep one whole chicken for myself I don't need four whole chickens um, I might what am I going to do I might keep two whole chickens I uh, definitely have some apples to give away, some sweet potatoes, because I'm not going to eat all of them. I will keep all of the oranges and the bananas, just because I can cut them up and freeze them. Um, I'm not really feeling the jumbo rolls. I'm not really feeling the bread. I will keep the croissants, though, but I'm not really feeling these. Um, I don't know, just too much carbs for you, girl, but... It's super soft, so they're definitely fresh. It's not like it's like day-old bread or anything like that. But, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Oh, yes, Tosh. 
let me tell you, this is, so for Vlogtober, a lot of people are doing decluttering, giving away, or, you know, decluttering their home. I gave my neighbor an Instant Pot. I gave him a printer, a HP printer at that. Um, and that's it. I got some books that I know I'm not reading. I put them out in a laundry room for people to take or read. Who is it? It's my neighbor too. Hold on, y'all. Let me tell him what I got. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. It's your day. Do you need some food? What's that? Yeah, well, I, what is it? Chicken? Oh, yeah. Whole chicken. chicken. We got a food package. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Hey, you can have two whole chickens if you like. Okay. Um, some apples, oh my God, you got some... bananas, sweet potatoes. They got sweet potatoes. Rolls. Jumbo rolls, yeah. Okay. If you want. Yeah. Um, okay. I got enough bread. Yeah, I'm over bread too. Yeah, I was just like, eh. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of bread. Come in. But uh, what I do do is I feed. Uh, the connection to consumers at, at the house on 9th and Washington. So oh, okay. I can make sandwiches with that. Okay. With that bread. Okay. Yeah, not that. Cool. So it won't go to waste. Okay. Um, I also, if you want to give them this, I have, um, these are pork patties. Pork patties? Oh, like, uh, for breakfast. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Yeah, that's, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All okay. right. So, this is the box that I need okay. you to help me with. Oh, okay. That's your two chickens in You bought it in? Hercules, I'm about to Hell say. Hell no. I'm about to say, this is heavy. Hold on, y'all, sweet potatoes. Okay. I'm going to try to make some apple pie. Apple. Oh, you bake? Yeah. Nice. Well, I haven't, but I, I will. Ooh, okay. Oh, yes, bananas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not ripe yet, so that's good. <laughs> I make smoothies. Oh, yeah? Yes, I do. All right, I'll give you a bag. Yeah, I'll give you a bag of sweet potatoes. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. You're not trying to get rid of those sweet potatoes? Um, I'm keeping a bag, but you can have another bag. Oh, they gave you two bags? Of them? They gave me oh, three bags. Wow. Three bags? They gave me food for a family of three. Was this just not for Thanksgiving? No. Either. It's at, um, Stubbs. Where's that? Stubbs, Stubbs? right by Howard. Oh, I, oh, the school? They're giving away. Oh. Yeah, it's the food bank. Oh, I didn't even They're know. They're giving away this. stuff. Yeah, and my dad. These are good packages. Yeah. They gave you all this chicken? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. My freezer is. is Oh, but I, I'll find You'll one. You'll find one. Trust and believe. Just don't throw one and cook it. Yes. I, 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 trust you. I got food to cook for them too now. Oh, know? yeah. You know, I look at it. You know, don't go to That's waste. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I made oh. sandwiches for them today. I had some spaghetti leftover. Oh, yeah. Spaghetti leftover. Mm -hmm. I brought that to them. And I, um, and they had the Chick fil A. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they had the Chick fil A uh, in the package. Over there, LCS. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Nice. All, all right, thank Today you. Today is your lucky day. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, Calvin. You can give them some soap. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if they use it, that's another question. Thank you. No problem. Have a good day. Thanks. And thank you. Hey, y'all. Uh, oh, Shanji. Hey, sis, Kadima. He rang the doorbell and is getting. Yes, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. You done a lot of decluttering too, Shanji? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, Tosh. Oh, you guys. But I still got, oh, I gave him three bunches, but I still got three bunches myself. So once they start to turn yellow, I'm going to cut them up, put them in a the freezer, freezer for smoothies. I still got one, two, three, four apples. And I think I had like eight. Um, so my dad works at a school and he's working today and his school, uh, the food bank was there and they're giving out all this food. So my dad called me and he was like, um, 
what you doing? I said, washing clothes. He was like, okay. He said, well, put something on. Come get some food because they giving out food. I said, okay. So when I got there, the guy was like, it was this guy. He was like, you Brian's daughter? I was like, yeah. He was like, yo, I could, yeah. You look just like him. I was like, thank you. So he was like, he said, he said, look, tell them you're a family of three. I was like, yeah. He was like, tell them you're a family of three. Sign up so that way next year, um, you know, you'll get it next year. And just bring your car around. We'll put the food in your car. They put two huge boxes, you guys. And bananas, apples oranges whole chickens i had like i had five whole chickens i gave one to a neighbor on the fourth floor my dad know him but i don't know his name but i gave him one and he took he took apples and oranges too i had so much fruit they gave me like four bags of sweet potatoes i'm like oh my gosh so when they were putting it in the back seat i was like dad how i'm gonna get this in my house he said take a little bit out at a time you'll get it so i got one of my neighbors from the fourth floor um i got him to help me bring in both boxes and oh amen tosh i receive it i receive it um so i was like yeah i don't need all this food um but you know the whole chickens you can't not keep whole chickens and i had too many and it's just me and to be honest, I ain't no telling. I probably will make a whole chicken, one for Thanksgiving and one for Christmas. And that be like, you know, the meat of my dinner. Um, and, you know, the fruit. I can always munch on the fruit. That's nothing. But <clears throat> I also got these croissants that look really good. So I figure these can be breakfast i can put these in my refrigerator and heat them up in the oven with some butter yes so yeah so i have had a productive day y'all we got new washer and dryers and girl get you a croissant you got it um we got new washer and dryers and they're so big and like deep y'all i'm only four nine when I was washing clothes, let me tell you, I had to get help to get some of the clothes out because they were just down so deep in the washer. But I made sure it wasn't like stuff I didn't want people to see, like, you know, bras and underwears or something like that. But I was like, oh, my gosh. So I'm able to wash clothes. Thank the Lord. Because um, we had been without washer and dryers for like three weeks. Thank God I got a lot of clothes to where I was cool, still able to, you know, be fresh and wear clean clothes and everything like that. But yeah, y'all. Um, so now I have one, two, two bunches of apples, I, um, oranges. I got one, two, three, one, two, three, four bags of galas and three bunches of bananas one bag of sweet potatoes and two whole chickens so yeah and i'm cool y'all like i'm cool i was thinking about um <laughs> trying a diet uh it's a diet that is based on your um blood type and I'm A positive and after doing research, the diet is pretty much a vegetarian diet. And I was just like, what? And they was like, seldom you can have chicken and turkey. And I had said to Tara, Tara gave Nicole that I was going to try it for one pay period. I don't know what pay period that is. It's not the next one coming up for sure because look, it was, it was listing all these things that was harmful for me based on my blood type crab shrimp lobster like illicit seafoods that i could eat like salmon trout haddock stuff i don't eat all the time and i was just like mm, i don't know but i want to try it because i really want to challenge myself i don't know when i'm going to try it though i gotta psych myself up 
to try it. But yeah, it was saying like fruits that were like harmful to me based on my blood type. Um, excuse me, like starches, like no wheat flour, white flour. Um, oh, you don't know your blood type? Okay. Um, what else? Uh, it was saying certain beans I can't eat. So like green beans are supposed to be bad, harmful to me based on my blood type. Um, y'all, it was like a whole list of stuff. And I was researching and I was just like, wow. And it was saying like, if you follow this diet, basically close to a vegetarian diet, it was like, you, you won't have anxiety. You won't have diabetes. You won't have cancer. Like apparently all of these foods that I'm not supposed to eat, pork, uh, beef, you know, red meat that I'm not supposed to consume brings on those things. And I just thought that was so interesting. And I was just like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm truly going to cook me some pork chops tonight with some rice aroni and some broccoli. I am. Oh, but I am. So I don't know, y'all. <laughs> but other than that, I feel good. I gave a lot. And sometimes giving you does not always require money. Like, my neighbor was saying how he really needed a printer. He was like, oh, my God, like, I needed a printer. I was like, well, now you got one in the Instant Pot. He was like, oh, my God. He was like, I bought, he said, let me tell you, I bought this same exact Instant Pot. And I really couldn't afford it. He said I ended up returning it to get my money back because I had to use the money for a bill. And he was like, and now you just gave me one. And I was like, wow, like, this is cool. This is really cool. So it felt good. It, it feels really good to give. And yes, yes, giving does do the heart good. But it felt really good to give. And I'm just like sitting here kind of like, you know, feeling proud of myself. And I have not spent a dime, y'all. I have not spent any money. So I'm so excited to put a no spend sticker for today. Although I won't even lie. I really want to order something to eat because I do. I really want like a good sandwich. Oh, yeah. I really want a good sandwich. Like, um, yeah, I do. I want a sub, but eat something I just got. God. I'm going to eat fruit. My whole chicken's not cooked. I had some ramen earlier. And I was y'all. I think ramen is. I don't think it's a no go. I don't think it's a no go for me with ramen. Um, I don't know. Maybe because I overcooked my noodles. That could be it. But I'm thinking of what I can eat. I don't know y'all. I know I'm, I got my dinner meal planned out. I don't know. Maybe I'll eat some cereal. But I really want a sandwich. I don't know. The struggle. But, yeah. So, I like shrimp and eggs in my ramen. Yeah. Okay. I think, see, I bought the, the oodles and noodles. The top ramen. Not the top ramen. The Manchurian brand. And I overcooked my noodles. I think that's why I really didn't care for it too much. Um. So, yeah. I really want a good sandwich right now and some french fries or something. But maybe I'll just make some eggs or something. I don't know. I don't feel like cooking dinner right now. I'm still got clothes drying. Um, yeah. Oh, I also decluttered some clothes. Y'all remember those, like, those gray SoFi shirts that I had and that I wore in like every video? I had like five of them. I think I got rid of four. Got rid of four. Got rid of some old shorts that I don't wear. Um, I got rid of some other clothes that I'm just not. I'm just tired of seeing and I'm tired of wearing. Even though I'm working from home and I'm home most of the time. My goal is to get dressed 
every day as if I am in the office just so I can just change the monotony you know like it's just I don't want to keep wearing pajamas all the time or t-shirt and sweatpants so we're gonna see how that works even if I'm just on the couch working um, or at my desk my goal is to go to my desk more but I feel like I need a bigger desk because this isn't big enough <laughs> you see this is a pajama shirt I went out to go get that food in my pajama shirt. I said, Dad. When my dad called me and told me to get the food, I said, Dad, I'm not even dressed. He was like, it's raining. Just put a uh, hoodie on or something and just come on. He said, they getting this food. I'm trying to tell you. You better come on. I said, okay, 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 Dad. Okay. So I just put my little jacket on with this and some sweatpants and some sneakers. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I think it was cool that they gave, like, a lot of the, like, hand sanitizer and, like, cleaning solution. Um, you know, this is really cool. But I really hope that, I'm grateful I got this food. However, I really hope those that, um, are homeless were able to get it. RJ, what's your problem? You know, we're able to, to get it, um... There is a homeless guy that is by the hospital where I live, which is like right down the street. I might go by and give him a bag of apples. Okay. Okay, Kadima. Thanks so much for watching, sis. Yeah, I hope they did. Yeah, I hope they did take care of them. For, but I don't think a lot of people knew about it, to be honest. I really don't because my dad was like, it's not crowded at all. And I think a lot of people aren't coming because of the rain. but he, Or a lot of people just didn't know. But, y'all, I'm telling you. Parents will look out for their kids no matter how old they are. Like, for real. I'm about to be 36 and my dad pretty much fed me still. You know? So that's pretty cool pretty cool but yeah so mm-hmm you know I, I just pray I am just a good parent when I do become a mom well I'm sure I'm gonna be an amazing mom to boys cuz girls can't can do the hair I can't do hair I was looking at natural hairstyles for my hair type which is 4c I was looking at natural hairstyles and I was like, oh, well, that looks easy. That looks easy. Maybe I'll try it once I take my crochets out. Because I'm tired of spending money getting my hair done. I really am. But at the same time, like, you know, I don't want to look like a tack head, as my grandma used to say. And I want to learn how to do my hair. But I get, y'all, I get tired quick. Like with my hands and stuff. And I'll be like, oh, my hands are, I got short hands. So I can't see the back or I can't, y'all. Hair is just not my ministry. Mm, it's just not my ministry. That's it. Hey, DC. <laughs> yeah, she used to say, you like looking like a tag head. My grandma said, you are a pretty girl. You always supposed to have your hair done. And you know how you got them days where you just don't care, y'all. But I need to get me some gel. Um, Once I take these out, I think I do want to wear my natural hair for a while. I'm not sure. I don't like that natural look that I had a couple weeks ago. Hey, Brina, I don't know. I'm looking like a tag kid right now. Okay, see, tag kids reunite. You know, we here, but let my grandma tell it. No, she be like, how you going to get a man and your hair ain't done? And I wanted to say so, my grandma said that. And I was like 17, 18. I wanted to say so bad. Grandma, they ain't with me for my hair now, but. You know, I probably would have been smacked in the next week if I would have said something like that. 
So I just kept my mouth shut. It was just like, okay. <laughs> you know when you <laughs> you know when you 17, 18, um, you know, you you mouthy, you smelling yourself, you think you know everything. And I was one of those that knew it all. Let me tell it. I knew everything about everything. And ain't know nothing at all. If I knew then what I know now, oh my gosh. I know everyone says that line. And it might be cliche, but y'all, that's like facts. If I knew then what I know now. Hmm. I would have did so many things differently. I would have dated just different caliber of of men for real like y'all speaking of men i'm back on pof right but this guy my mom know he used to be be a bad boy you read between the lines I met him when I went to pick my mom up one day. And my mom was like, oh, this such and such. He used to, you know, but he good now and blah, blah, blah. And we like locked eyes a little bit. I was like smizing at him. And my mom was like, oh, he was like, oh, this the one that write all the books and stuff. I was like, yeah, that's me. So he was like, where can I buy them? So, I was like, oh, on Amazon. So, my mom was like, I'll send you all the information. And he actually asked my mom for, like, my information for the books. So, we had added each other on Facebook when I had Facebook. And he hit me up. And he was like, hey, like, you know, I'm going to buy one. And he said, I'm going to buy some of your books. I was like, oh, okay, thank you or whatever. So, he goes, you're very beautiful, by the way. Thanks, I said. And he was like, you know, I'm proud of your mom. For those who don't know, my mom is a recovering drug addict. Um, and she's in recovery. She's been in recovery for about maybe 10, 11 years now. Um, so that's why he was saying he was proud of my mom. He used to, you know, sell the stuff my mom used to indulge in. Um, so, yeah. So that's how they knew each other. But he was like, um, we was talking a little bit, you know, he was like, how old are you? I was like, um, how old do I look? He was like 24. I said, thanks. I said, I'll be 36 in December. So he was like, oh, you grown, grown. I was like, yeah. So he was like, I love your confidence. I was like, oh, so I said, how old are you? Y'all, let me tell you what he said. He said he was 49. 49. I said, Lord, they're going to give me worms. I said, you're going to give me, hey, Sherry. I said, yeah. said you're going to give me worms. That is an old saying. The term, if you if you deal with an older man, he's going to give, that's just an old saying, like just like a myth. So I said, Really? So, I said black don't crack. So, for those who are not African American or are not down with that saying, black don't crack, that just pretty much means the older a black person gets, the more younger they look. They don't look their age. That's pretty much where that term came from. So, he was like, yeah. He was like, my age don't scare you, do it. I said, to be honest, I probably should have been dating somebody your age. Like... <laughs> A long time ago, for real, for real. And he just left. But, like, we was busting it up and stuff. So, you know. We'll see. He said he's going to give me something for my birthday. We're going to see on that, too. But he has grown kids. And that's intimidating for me that has no kids. So, I, he said, my kid's grown. I said, oh, so your kids can tell me where to go, how to get there, and take me there in the process. And he started laughing. He was like, pretty much, hey, sis. I was just talking about you not too long ago. I was talking about my diet. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what pay period we're going to start it on, but it's going to be one of them. But, yeah, so... 
that's him. Then on POF, it's like so many dudes inboxing me. But, you know, POF, they just got a whole different uh, motive. I'm not with it. I'm getting back into my Christian ways and, you know, here for the Lord. I ain't that girl no more. So what's Sierra say? My goodies, not my goodies. I tried that site years ago and didn't like it. Girl, I'm like... I don't... The, some of the men are very attractive, right? However, once you talk to them... Um, you see what they about. Like, it was this one guy. He was very attractive. He had salt pepper hair. And he was 39. And we was busting it up, you know, on POF. And then he was like, POF? And then he was like, let's video chat. So I'm like, all right, you know, cool. So... I knew something was up because as soon as he got um, on a video chat, he was like, oh, my God, like, you're so beautiful. He was like, yo, like, your skin and I like your smile. And, you know, I'm kind of like low-key like, okay, Nick, Iga, low-key eating it up. But then at the same half, I'm like, oh. You got to read between the lines. When a man constantly compliments you, tells you how beautiful you are, tells you how he likes your lips and everything like that, he only wants one thing, right? So I said to him, I said, look, I said, I'm looking for something long term towards marriage. I said, I'm not looking for an F buddy. I'm not looking for a friend with benefits. I said, that's not on my profile. And you said you read my profile and you liked my profile. So you should know where I'm coming from. So he goes, all of a sudden, right? When you let them know what's up and they not with it, all of a sudden they have to go. So he goes, all right, well, I'm going to call you back later. Um, I'm waiting to pick my boy up because he wasn't in his car. He was like, I'm waiting to pick my boy up. He's taking long. I'm going to call him and see what's going on with him. Okay, but before that, he was like, um, I know you said you're looking for a man. He was, he was like, he asked a, a sexual question. He was like, are you scared of big yami? And I'm trying to work on myself, I'm trying to live for the Lord and be better. So I didn't want to give him the normal crystal answer like, yo, I'm a G or well, you know, you ladies, you know. So he goes, can you handle this? He did not show it, but he has some gray sweatpants on. And y'all, I'm just like, oh my God, look, hands, oh my God. I don't want to see that. Look, y'all see my eye, right? I'm like, I don't want to see that. So funny. <laughs> I literally did that. So he was like, I'm not showing you nothing. <laughs> like, I'm not showing you nothing. It's just my print. Y'all. I was so glad he said he had to, uh... Girl, I'm human. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. I ain't perfect. So he, you know, he had to go. I'm like, all right, you know, I'm not going to talk to him anymore. Then there's this other guy who has a PhD and graduated from Princeton. And, you know, he's so excited about his accomplishments. He is Italian, black, and white. And he speaks six languages, right? Exactly. Jesus ain't done with us yet. So intriguing. He's so intriguing, right? So he's like, oh, yeah. I work a lot. 
um, you know, I'm looking to meet someone, hang out, spoil her, have greats, eh, you know, and I'm just like, oh, I said, I'm not with that. So you take care, you take care. So he was like, I'm not saying that I'm going to rush into sex or anything like that. And I'm like, sir, you trying to rush into it for the mere fact you trying to trying to do it with somebody for you to even put that in your list of demands or what you're looking for, you know, like, come on. Hey, sis, it just, anno I'm just like, oh, and this man fine as wine looking like a Rick Fox, okay? Huh. Looking like a Rick Fox. I just said, man. Uh. Then two X's in my inbox. I said, look, what do you want? Go, go on about your business. Like, and they like, well, why are you on here? I'm on here the same reason you on here. Obviously, we looking for something or we're seeking something like, you know, Lisa from DC Kool-Aid and Lisa told me this. Maybe it was like four years ago. And she said, I never forget this till this day. Shout out to you, Lisa. She said, um, an ex is an ex for a reason. She said. If you go back to an ex, it's because you want it to or something is still there that you suppressed. She said, but when you're done with an ex, you're done with the ex and you do not go backwards. You move on. And every time one of my exes come in contact with me or <clears throat> I used to try and like snoop and see what they were up to and what they were doing. And I always thought about thought back to that comment that Lisa said. And I'm like, yo, like, are you bored? Like, Crystal, are you bored? Are you lonely? Like, why are you checking for them when they're not even checking for you? Even if you still remain to be friends, when they're not even checking for you. Like, what? Why do you care what they're doing right now? I'm like, you know. They hurt you or it didn't work out for whatever reason it didn't work out like why can't you move on from that and I always thought about you know that comment that Lisa had said and <laughs> I said to both of them that hit me up on the website um I'm good I'm good one of them wanted to take me out to breakfast I was like okay I could eat didn't show up didn't call or nothing. I said, okay, see, that's why I don't fool with your black behind. That's what I said to myself. Sometimes I feel when I went back because I was comfortable. Yes! Yes! And that was honestly like one of the reasons why I used to always check for them or look for them because it was comfortable and I knew what I was getting into to an extent, you know? And like with someone new, it's starting over and it's just like, oh, but what if they mess up too? But you kind of got to get out your comfort zone and give them the opportunity because everyone isn't them, you know? So that's kind of like where I'm at, you know? I don't know, but my goodies is my goodies. They try to see if they can still have you. If you still willing. I can't stand them man games. Girl. Yes. But we play them too. I don't anymore. But I used to. I don't anymore though. But yeah. You right. You were so right. And it's just like. Mm. I told God. Help me with the temptation. And help me with like the urge <clears throat> because I don't want to be like this oh my god what are you doing look peeping I'm not trying to like be that 
I need to stand firm. Let my yes mean yes and my no mean no. Because... I ain't, I ain't trying to go out like that, you know? And men will only do what you allow. I hope you're all right. Hi! It's Maria, right? I am fine. Thank you for asking. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all. So that's the dilemma in the love department. <laughs> there really isn't one. Except for the old head. We're going to call him old head. Except for the old head. He cute though, y'all. He seemed to talk like he got sense. Ow now. He a Gemini. Y'all. Whew. Them Geminis, man. I fell for two Geminis in my lifetime. How old? He's 49. And I am about to be 36. He just turned 49. June 10th, I believe. And he, and he want more kids. I tried that when I was 38. He was 50. Girl! How did that go? How did that go? Were you bored? Was he bored? Y'all, I really got a taste for, now I got a taste for some french fries. He used to play for San Francisco 49ers. I was bored. Girl, how was you bored? You're supposed to be like uh, med school from the game. No, I'm not doing any mukbangs. I was more of that good stuff. You love my hauls? Oh, thanks. Yeah, I don't know. I just... I don't know. My thing... Oh, you want it more. I get it. Okay. He might be dull. Ah, he better not be dull. Y'all, I can't deal with somebody dull. Because I'm like... I consider myself to be a lively and upbeat person most of the time, right? An upbeat and introvert. That is me. He physically cannot handle my level of want. Girl. Okay. Hey, that's fair. If, if you, you know what you want, so that is fair. But yeah, I, I don't know. My mom told me, this is what she told me yesterday. We was talking about the guy that y'all saw on live. And she was like, you know, I really think men in your life are intimidated by your success you're educated you're a published author you've written for cnn you've done like all these things and i just feel like they feel like they can't measure up and i'm like but if they can't measure up why come in the kitchen if you can't take the heat get out the kitchen like why waste my time you know but i guess on another hand i guess they gotta try to see if they could you know, deal, but I don't know. I need somebody that's sure of themselves, secure in themselves, know who they are, be like, look, I don't care how much money you make, or I don't care how many books you sold, or whatever, like, I like you, so I'm down for you. Like, that's what I want. But I don't want someone that isn't on the same level that I am and not being bougie I'm not being cocky or conceited I'm just being me you know like I want somebody to like be my equal you know like we if we got debt we paying off debt together like if you got a car I got a car I got my own crib you got your own crib like 
I don't want it to be hard, you know? If it's going to be hard, like, let's be hard together at some somewhat of the same things. You know, people always got things going on that is outside of who they're dating or who they're dealing with, whether it's, like, family or personal stuff or whatever. But, like, you know, take the time to let me in or take the time to allow me to let you in, you know? Is that too much to ask? And have good D, that's all. You know? God told me, ask for what I want. I have not because I ask not. So, I'm asking God. The next one better be all the way right. Or it's nothing. I'm silly, y'all. Don't. <laughs> I am silly. And I need to finish watching my sermon from Michael Todd. Um, he's doing a 13-week course on forgiveness and he has like a theme uh called forgiveness university which is cool and i'm i'm like really enjoying it my lips dry But he was extremely good looking, but we kept falling into the age gap. He was talking marriage after two weeks. <laughs> oh, man, no. My best friend told me to try match. I told her, if I pay for it, you make my profile. Because when she was on match, she was getting it. Um, and ended up dealing with a guy and ended up being with a guy that I hooked her up with when we were younger. <laughs> uh, am I writing books? Um, I am writing. I'm not going to say I'm writing a book. I mean, I am writing a book, but I don't have like a certain date of when it'll be finished or anything like that. And y'all, <laughs> I switched my wallet. Look at there. It looks so pretty, right? I also got some new cash envelopes coming coming in. I what did I do? I supported budget treasures this go round and you know. Mm -hmm. So, I'm waiting for that to come in. Um, I got some cash envelopes, some clear ones this time, y'all. So, now that is going to be the fall theme. Where did you get that wallet from, Crystal? Okay, let me show you. Thank you. As soon as I get my driver's license back in here. Um, seriously? Okay. So this is the Budget Mom wallet. This is actually a file of facts. So... Safiana, is it called? Filofax Safiano Compact Organizer. And you can get this on the Filofax website. It's actually, I got it for $42 because this was a part of the Budget Moms uh, bundle that she had. I got the new Budget by Paycheck workbook. I got the envelopes and I got this wallet. Um, but on the file effects website, you can get the same wallet. It's going to be a little, a couple more dollars, maybe like $60, but I love it. And y'all know how I am with my cash envelopes. I love her too. I love Kamiko, which is her name. Um, and then it has the change purse, the change purse part. It has the cards. Um, yeah, it has like, I love the card slot space, which is really cool. And then, you know, you can put a pen. So, yeah, I was going to wait till my birthday to switch, but no. And then it's a compartment here. I just have my checkbooks here. That's where I keep them. And my red wallet, the one that I was using before, I put the sinking funds for 2022 there. And I just had them, you know, um, put up. But yeah. I need one, don't I, to go with my organized finance book. <laughs> so.
so that or so my organized finance book is a journal it's a personal journal for you to like you know uh write about your thoughts regarding your money um it has like a debt payoff uh plan as well as um teach you how to budget um and how to do a zero based budget i have in there a space for you to do a vision board um oh you haven't read it okay so it's not like a book like my other books but it's like a like a journal for you to write in and i ask you questions and stuff um you can write your thoughts like it is like really personal yeah yeah really personal yeah it's called organized i don't even have a copy organized finance a journal for your personal finances by and i have i'm using the name kl digs i'm not using crystal or um crystal digs it, this one has kl digs on there and you can get it on amazon um yeah so i, I really hope it helps people like i had sold a few when it first came out but the sales for that has not been too good but then again a lot of people don't want to get their money right so mm, you know um money is personal to a lot of people who aren't don't want to think about getting their finances together or they feel like they're doing okay when they're actually sinking which you know to us finance people O'Neal. Anthony's last name is O'Neal. That's my boo. Yo, nah. I'm just crushing on him. His cute chocolate self. Um, but yeah, Anthony O'Neal is a author and he is a finance expert. He also works with Dave Ramsey. He works at Dave Ramsey Solutions. Girl! <laughs> So, yeah, I just think he's like, <laughs> I just think he's cute. And I, lo I love his channel. But I hope my book review was not uh, perceived as bashing his book. Because that just wasn't the case at all. I'm just a little further along with my personal finances and budgeting journey than other people so those who are just getting started that book would be very good for them but those who have like been in the game for a little bit it's like okay we already know you know so but sometimes you got to go back to basics and have a refresher especially if you fell off why does it look like this better not be leaked it's not so that is that I'm gonna figure out what to eat dinner today is pork chops I'm thinking about making rice aroni or some craft mac and cheese and some I got carrots so carrots and not broccoli I got carrots cooked already let me see I think that I do today but I like this zero based budgeting I want to get into that yes zero based budgeting and y'all can chime in that have done it or currently do it um it's such a refresher to see where your money is going even if you mess up you can see where you messed up because you literally had a place like for your money and i will say definitely keep track like i'm starting to keep track again um not so much with my cash envelopes because that money comes and goes um but with my spending i'm, I'm getting back into keeping track and yup i need to track better too with my spending i'm getting back to keeping track and with my sinking funds i'm keeping track and okay so you said the buffer is necessary so 
a buffer is having a certain amount of money that will most likely carry over the for the next paycheck or is there in place an emergency happens where a bill forgets to be paid or you know something like that um just for like those emergencies a buffer doesn't work well for me i noticed because the money's there and i can just go into it or i'll hate that it's sitting there just sitting there and i'll put it in my savings account so the buffer doesn't work for me at least a big buffer i haven't tried like 25 to 50 dollars maybe that'll that'll help me but yeah i just i don't know but um my sinking funds my buffer my buff <laughs> right when i want to spend something that's another thing it's like a miscellaneous account at the end of it all right just like, ooh, I got a taste for this. I don't got no money in my eating out envelope no more, but I got that buffer. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Like, I'm trying to be on the straight and narrow. <laughs> but, um, what was I going to say? Something I was going to say. What was it about? I lost my train of thought that fast. What's it about, y'all? Oh, sinking funds, right? So, <laughs> I went ahead and withdrew all my fives from my sinking funds and put it back into the $5 challenge because I really want to finish what I started. This is the last quarter of the year and I really want to see how many fives I can save in three months. So I have $185 in fives and I want to continue to see how much I will have. So my sinking funds are just less now, but that's okay because I still got them in the budget for pay periods to come. Well, I haven't been doing cash envelopes or sinking funds, so that is why I leave it high. Okay, but when I implement it, I will make the buffer smaller, right? Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. And that's another thing, like, Dave Ramsey does not talk about a buffer because that's just not his M.O. And I don't know. I just feel like with Dave Ramsey, I know it's being weird, as he calls it. But I think I would be terrified to just have $1,000 in a savings account and to literally just put everything else to debt. Like, I mean, yeah, I will be getting out of debt more, but like, when the car comes up, right? When a car issue comes up, I gotta use that thousand dollars. Or if, God forbid, something were to happen with my job, I gotta use that thousand dollars. Or, you know, I just feel like baby step one would always constantly repeat itself if you have to always go into that thousand dollars but if you have sinking funds and you put so much money aside for car maintenance for Christmas for car registration for dang what are my sinking funds for vet for your pet for vet um for house maintenance or something that you know comes up right for medical something that you know comes up if i have money set aside every pay by the time that something comes up in that specific category i can take care of it with no problem but if i don't have that i have to use this thousand dollars to continue you know what i mean like i just feel like baby step one would i would never get out of it and be comfortably just paying off debt Yes. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, that's what freaks me out. Like, if I didn't have sinking funds, right? Let's say, let's say we all really did do the Dave Ramsey, right? Credit cards are gone. Sinking funds do not exist. And all we have is this $1,000, right? Just the $1,000. 
and we're paying off debt and say the momentum is high and it's good for like three months right but say if we were really there and the pandemic happens let's say we lose our job or we our hours are reduced right so if our hours are reduced what is the first thing you think we're going to do to offset reduced hours we're going to calculate the money to where we would have a full paycheck right and get that money from that thousand dollar or starter emergency fund and carry it over right until we get back on our feet and at the end of the day that thousand dollars will be gone just like that or it don't even have to be about a job what if your washing machine breaks or your dryer breaks or <laughs> maintenance on your car hence I just spent four hundred and thirty three dollars if I didn't have that in sinking funds that four hundred and thirty three dollars will come out of that thousand dollar starter you know emergency and I would have like what five something left no i'm blessed to have sinking funds and an emergency fund yes and see that's why i have an emergency fund for my account and i have an emergency fund at home just at home and that's what i was able to use for my car my savings at home and my emergency fund at home and my car maintenance that's how i was able to get it done i didn't even touch my emergency fund in my account right so if you guys don't have a house emergency fund or a house savings, I would suggest you get that because the emergency fund in the account is like last resort, real deal, holy field. But if you don't have to go into that account, don't. Yeah, yep. And it's just not enough money. And like when I look at his channel, Dave Ramsey's channel, and I see everyone doing their debt free scream or people talking about, oh, I paid off two hundred thousand dollars in debt in two years. And it's like, um, you couldn't have lived alone. You could. You know what I mean? Like you probably lived with family or you had a spouse. Hey, Deshauna. That's really a blessing. That's what I'm working on. I have emergency fund, but that's it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, 1K is not enough. And they were exactly like a lot of people that pay off debt quickly don't have bills or they're living with their family or they have like three or four roommates, right? Now, I have a one bedroom apartment, all right? Only way somebody else is moving in here is if he's sleeping in that bed with me, right? But to have a roommate on my couch and all I got is a one bedroom, no, it just don't work for me. It don't work for me. And you was making so much more money for real, right? And you were making more money, right? A lot of people are making like 80,000 to 100,000, right? Or 120,000. Exactly. Show me somebody that is single, lives by their self. And is paying off two hundred thousand dollars in three years, and who's making six figures? We don't see that, you know. Like, we don't see that, or have children. Yeah, like we don't see that. And granted, I don't have children right now, um, so it's somewhat just a just a tad little easier for me. But I'm not making them. I'm not making six figures, you know. So. You got to work with what you got, but I, because mm, I moved home to save and it's still taking me a bit. I don't make that much money for that. Exactly, exactly. And I just feel like, I don't know, some of his ways just are not realistic to the average American or the average person, you know, like I wish I could go back home and live with my family and I could be dead. If I went home and lived with my family and didn't have to pay rent, I would be debt free in, um, wait, uh, three, four, I would be debt free in three and a half years. If I take my salary that I make, which is 65000 
and just every paycheck went to debt, I would be debt free in three years if I didn't have a care in the world or didn't have to worry about rent and electric and everything like that. But I don't have that option. You know, my mom rents a room and my dad has a house, but I don't like his girlfriend like that. So that wouldn't work. Plus, you know, when you live with somebody, you want to contribute to the household anyway because you don't want to seem like you're a leech, right? So you got to get a job. You got to help out with some, you got to have some type of bills, you know, like, I don't know. It just don't seem feasible. I'm taking my time paying off that and still going to eat my steaks. Right, Brina? <laughs> we should not suffer. Exactly. I learned about Dave Ramsey and I said it's not realistic for everybody. And I got looked at crazy. I'm skinny as it is. I still <laughs> <laughs> yes girl ain't nothing wrong with a good steak I'm trying to get skinny and I ain't still ain't nothing wrong with a good steak but um <laughs> yeah like what do we do all we can do is what we can do but at the same time I don't want life to pass me by while I'm on this journey and that is something really conflicting for me that I'm trying to work on. It's to continue to live life, continue to find my happiness, you know, and be content. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to die today or tomorrow. And all I did was focus on paying off my debt. You know, like, I don't want to go out like that. You know? And your peace. Yes! Peace. Yes. Oh. But that's how I feel. Like, y'all, you know how they say the idle mind is the devil's playground? I be having thoughts. I be thinking. I already got anxiety. So, worrying is mostly all the time. Just that I'm not going to fulfill the things that I want. You know, I want to travel. I want the opportunity to be a wife. I want the opportunity to be a mother by bearing children, you know, having my own children. Um, like those are simple things that, you know, I feel that would enhance my life more. Um, I'm working on being content with myself and being happy right now and just trying to live in the present and be happy with that. Sometimes that's hard for me, I'll be honest, just because the dynamic around me is not mine. For example, my I have two best friends, you guys know I talk about them all the time, and they always come on the channel, Allie and Renette, right? Renette now has, um, her man came home, remember, her man was, you know, doing some time. But her man came home so now she has her man and her children and my other best friend she has her baby and she has her man now and and I'm not saying that I'm jealous of what they had because I want my friends to be happy and successful in whether they're in relationships or not you know what I mean but at the same time it's like that's not my dynamic so what can single crystal do to feel more fulfilled and not be in the mirror of looking at my friends around me you know what I mean like what can I do to stand out and be content right now in my I guess present time or in my current newness you know because things change all the time like I can meet somebody fall in love 
get engaged, get married, have a baby, buy a house, all within a matter of a year and a half. You know what I mean? Like, you just never know. But, like, what can I do to be content right now? And that is what I have been praying about and what I have been, like, focusing on. Um, what is my purpose, not just in life, but what is my purpose right now in the present? Because, you know, it's a lonely journey. Let's be honest. Like, it is lonely. And focus on paying your debt to hit your goals absolutely but i don't want that to be my only focus i don't want to become obsessive which i have started to be i don't want to become obsessed with paying off this debt like i still want to exist and live and you know does that make sense y'all Yes, my anxiety has been at its all-time high, too. And it's just like... And it's mainly work anxiety. And money anxiety. And it's like... Excuse me, kind of like a rat race. Like, oh my god. I gotta, I gotta pay this debt off. I gotta pay this debt off. I gotta get another job making more money. Or I gotta get a side hustle. Or... You know, this debt just has to be eliminated because I want this great house. And, you know, it's kind of like a dog chasing his tail. Like, I'm always going round and round and round and round. And I don't see a way out. And I don't want that to be my my narrative. I don't want to focus on, like, just that. Because there are other areas in my life that make me me, you know? So you on the date and say also, girl, that day inside, girl. I ain't, you know, my egg, all my eggs ain't in that basket. Oh my God, I have been thinking the same thing about the saving for the house and paying. Should I get a new job? Yes, yes. And these are like real life things, like... To someone that, you know, is single and who don't have financial support. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Our parents cannot help us pay our debt. Like, let's keep it real. In the average household, right? Or the average family. They in debt, they, they sales. And they don't. The generation before me, my parents, they don't care about their debt. They're like, oh, I'll just die with it. Like, whatever. You know, I'm living for today. I don't got to worry about saving money or, you know, doing this or doing that. Like, I'm going to die. Hey, you know. And I'm just like, really? I wish I could be that fearless. But I'm terrified. You know, but then again, this is a time where they had children young, you know, and they had support, too. That's the thing. They had support. They had their parents, you know. Now, today, that ain't popping. The average person does not have support of other families to help raise a child financially. I'm saying financially. But I have to remember that it's a process and a journey and I need to just do my best and enjoy my cousins and whatnot. But it is a challenge. Yeah, it is. It is such a challenge. Yes, focus on your life goals, not your debt goals. I could go out and buy a house right now. That is not what I want. Been there, done that. I want a roof, a happy man, and to be able to buy what I want. Girl, give me that energy, honey. I need the same thing. I want to be able to buy what I want, but the way these cash envelopes is set up, you know, I just got to <laughs> spend just an envelope for right now. <laughs> but I feel you. I love that. And you know, that is like the simple things in life. For real. Like, that is the simple things in life. And that is mainly what a lot of us want. It's just simple 
happiness. We want to be with somebody that know they're in it for the long haul. They're not going nowhere at the sign of trouble. They're not going nowhere when the sickness come up or, you know, whatever. They're just there because they're there for you, you know. And being able to buy what you want. Yes. Yes. That is the, and you know what, if I had the opportunity to buy whatever I want, I probably still wouldn't do it. Just because I would have such a frugal mindset, like, um, I know I can't afford to get this mini mansion, but do I really need it? I mean, I have a house right now. You know, like, nowadays we never own them anyway. I heard that. I've heard that a lot too, y'all. I heard that a lot, a lot. Shoot. You see, I'm frugal. And, you know, you see I am frugal. I don't even have to buy fruit for a while or sweet potatoes or whole chickens, you know. This stuff, Gala apples, would have at least been $6 a bag right here. You know? Oranges probably would have been more. Are oranges in season right now? I never wanted a home. It wasn't until recently that I wanted one. But now I want it. And I think home ownership is definitely not. Home ownership is not for everyone. But. um, My grandma always said. God bless a child that has its own. And she owned her home. And my dad never wanted to own a home. He doesn't till this day. And he's just like, you know, no. Like, something breaks. I want to just be able to call somebody and have them fix it. And I just think, realistically, finance-wise, I'm tired of making other people wealthy. And I struggle, even with work. You know? I struggle. Um, I was like, I'm just tired of paying rent to somebody else. This building I live in, I had a lady tell me she's been here for 15 years in this building, this apartment building. And when she said that, I was like, wow. This building has probably been paid off for the last 25 years. And whoever we are paying rent to, they are just collecting a check every month. And it's four floors here. And if the rent is between $750 and $900 per apartment within these four floors... The landlord, whoever, this money is going in their pocket. We are paying for their vacation. We probably put money into their retirement if they aren't already retired. Like this is the money where they can buy whatever they want. Everything that they collect in this building. And that is so frustrating to me that I am... Putting money in other people's pocket. Don't get me wrong. I love giving. You guys saw that today. And just period. I love to give. But dag. Yeah I snapped. <laughs> yeah I snapped. I was paying 1k for a little tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yup. I had a five bedroom built. Ooh, three living areas. I had a formal living, game room, and family room. Two dining areas, nearly 400 square feet. Headache to maintain. Yeah, but even though it was a headache, it was still yours. Oh, I gotta go, guys. This is my dad probably wondering if I'm still, uh, my dad's probably calling to see if I'm still trying to get the stuff out the car, but I gotta go. I'm gonna call him back and I will talk to you guys later. 
be blessed and have a great day. And I'm sorry to cut our conversation short, but I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.